TSA to make a drop before we fly out to Dallas. Uh, see what we have ready. Uh, picking up uh, car, other cards for another card shop uh, that are ready. Taking a drop there and then getting to LAX hopefully in the next one hour. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So we'll drive safe. We'll drive safe. He's me one time already. He's already seen me. You good? Good, good. Drop it off at Fauci. Yeah, uh, you know what? It was a hot drop because I was. Yeah, you guys post up, bro. Just make it, bro. You're not going to see me. Just take that. Yeah. Right. I'll be working all weekend, now. <laughs> you heading out on the road? <laughs> yeah, we're going to Dallas right now. What's up, man? All right, well, have a, have a good time, right. bro. Give me doubles, bro. What's up? Come back with some heat, dog. Shh. <laughs> <Drive safe. laughs> this first fight, first career flight. <laughs> it's a big, it's a big moment for my boy. You ready to go on your first flight, buddy? Oh yeah. He's well rested too. Right, Let's go. Right. She's very weary. They gave him his wings, his first wings. My buddy got his wings. You just woke up, huh? Say hi, Tio Luis. <laughs> what did you eat? Look at your mouth is all blue, dude. Uh, I just like that. So I went ahead and bought the I bought this one, dude. I think 300 dollars I bought this one right when this started. That clear? That's the other start date. Oh yeah. Yeah. So when this start date went up, I'm gonna go to the 98 Manning start date. That's sick. Yeah. That's how it goes. Alright, we're giving away the solid Dante Cole pepper. Check this out, man. Jersey, solid Oh, no, very nice. Jaworski, Pro Bowler 1980, he's in the Hall of Fame in 92, giving that one away also. Yep. Oh, yeah. Perfect, you got an Instagram or anything you want to plug up? Yeah, um, feel so fly, P-H-I-L-S-0-F-L-Y, hey, y'all need to get with these boys. They doing some big things over here. I talked to you on the messages. Too. Oh, to me. Yes, oh, because oh, it's both bro, of us. Yes, yeah, both okay. of us. Because uh, bro, it gets it's been like <laughs> this is what I tell people. We compliment each other. This dude needs to be in the field talking to you guys, laying in the field, and while he's doing that, have the peace of mind where the work's getting done. Especially these cards going in and out. So yeah, dude, that I jumped on board like right when we for he started by himself for like two months, and then I jumped on board, and it really elevated us to the ball. That's good though. I like so, people. Like, like, say that you know, oh, all of us. My dad takes the picture for you. Right? No, I brought my sweater. Uh, I don't know why. It's I should pull out my sweater. Oh, yeah. action! Action! <laughs> hey, what's up? What do you have in there? What do you have in What are you gonna do with us? These are not for sale. <laughs> not allowed for sale. Ted has the last season as well. Nasty Russell Wilson one of one patch. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you now, eight years I've been looking, I ain't found a second card like that. That's the piece of bat with the jersey in the middle. 
Uh, yo, what's up? My name uh, is Michael Coleman with Coleman Cards. Coleman underscore cards. You gave us some good, uh, good insight on the hobby. Mm -hmm. It's been about a month and a half, two months. Uh, any kind of new changes that you've seen? Well, I mean, you know, whoever's hot changes. And like at this show, KD's hot right now. Um, LeBron's still hot. The newest insight I would give is just uh, with these new prices, you have to be that much more careful, that much more smart. Because at the end of the day, with prices going crazy like this, if you make a mistake, you're going to feel a lot more because the prices are so big. So like if you make a mistake and take a trade of like a $4,000 card and then you figure out a couple hours later it's only worth $3,000, it's not the same thing as you know a few months ago when that car was maybe $800 and uh, you took it at 1,000 trade. You can kind of shake that off, but like, you know, with the prices now, you gotta be way more like locked in, like laser focus as far as what you're doing and stuff. So that means taking your time and slowing down and really being sure on things and stuff and not getting too excited, I'd say. Um, you gonna be there at the Mark's car grand opening? Oh, 100%, I'll absolutely be there. I'll definitely, I'll definitely, I'll talk with Mark. Uh, this is my first time hearing about it, so I'll talk with Mark and we'll get it figured out and I'll, I'll definitely try to, set up if I can because that would be that'd be really great especially at a grand opening for Marks. All right thank you so much y'all appreciate it. What's up guys it's Nady Ruzel here my Instagram is Allstar Sports Cards 23. Uh, I do basketball high-end basketball for the most part I'll do some football baseball we're out here at the Dallas show buying selling trading you already know how it is. Nice right, man how was your weekend? It was pretty good man I picked up some nice stuff some big cards um, I didn't sell too much but I really came here to buy um, and I, I was set up, but I was, it was really just kind of focused on people bringing me stuff to purchase. And that, that worked out really well. I picked up some really nice cards, some nice Kobe's, Jordan's, LeBron. Do uh, you know what's happening on April 17th? Of course I know what's happening. April 17th, Mark's Cards, shop opening. I'm going to be there. I know a lot of people are flying in. They're going to be at the shop supporting Mike. Mark's Cards, man, shop opening. You already know, great wax, boxes, you know, and obviously PSA subs. He's the man to do it. It's where you gotta be. Uh, how was your weekend so far? It's great, great. Buys were great, did a couple sales, but the buying was amazing. Uh, did some really big deals in trade nights. That's what's popping in the lobbies, late nights, drinking, having fun, talking sports. Just enjoying the hobby in general. Nice, man. What's your Instagram? Uh, AC Sports Card 7. Nice, man. Are uh, you gonna be going to uh, the grand opening at Mark Cards? Oh, yeah, I'm actually setting up there with you. <laughs> Uh, nice, me, man. Tyler, you'll see me, Tyler, Eric, all the SoCal guys. Check out Marks for sure, man. One of the best guys I've ever met in general. All you, you know, your whole group in general. Great guys, man. Awesome, man. Wait, what happened? He's going to the show. First time going to Cali will be for the shop opening. Let's do it. And you already got your room and stuff off. Yeah, huh? I'm excited. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, dude, it's I'm right gonna, I'm corner, gonna go bro. for like a week, make a vacation of it. Good for you. Yeah, it's Good gonna be you. fun. Yeah, we're excited. Well, shoot, I told myself starting tomorrow, it's got to be full go with it. You got it. You got to be ready. I know. I got to actually bring display time? cases. Yeah. I got your table. It is the move. Dude, I'm so excited for that. Million nights. You told me that. Cool. A lot of people are flying yeah. out. Yeah, A lot. Of they were telling me yesterday, and I was like, dude, like, oh my god, I better get to it. I'm over here just gonna open, unlock the door and say, oh yeah, come on in. Yeah. We're here. We're here, everybody. <laughs> No, it's gonna be legit. Crazy, crazy. Pickups, selling, trading. Honestly, it's Dallas show. Yeah. Nothing, nothing can go wrong here. <laughs> what was your big move of the weekend? Uh, biggest move of the weekend was probably picking up just Bowman Chrome Autos. I picked up two Acunas, I picked up uh, Tatis, a Soto. So just the big guys amping up for baseball season. Uh, how's the breaking page going? Breaking's going good. We're constantly growing. New products coming out. I expected it to be like last last show in January, and the foot traffic was a little lighter because there's a second room now. But overall, I think that people were willing to come, trade, buy, sell. The hobby's great. The hobby's growing, and it's as strong as ever. Yeah. April 17th, California. Make sure everyone's going to be at Mark's Card store opening. I'll be there. I know a lot of people from the community are going to be there. It's going to be an amazing time. LJK cards, buying, selling, trading, and breaking. Four days a week. Titan underscore graphs 24. Yeah, are you going to be at uh, Mark's car at the grand opening? Yeah, yeah, of course. Me, my pops, Eric behind us, Anthony, we're all going to be at the thing. J Jam Cards LA, Jake, um, 
and Spore underscore what, Lucas. Luke, Luke, one of our buddies, Lucas, is going to be there, and we're all going to be set up. We have four tables. I know Nady All Star is going to be out there for a week or so to come to the show. I know Mojo, Mojo Autographs, Jay is coming down from Sacramento. So there's a lot of people going to it. A lot of good high end collectors are going. No. Well, how did that go down? Guy came up with some fire and just we got that. We got a true gem Soto Bowman Chrome out of it. There you go. That's that easy, easy peasy. Just did a big deal with Kyle Sturgeon over there on a blue Tatis just to get sold. So we had the money to buy that. So did a couple of deals. But yeah, that's basically about it. Show's going pretty good so far. Uh, Diamond underscore sports cards. My name's Tom Santos, father of Tyler Santos, famous guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I think my son just showed you guys, picked up a Gavin Lux PSA 10, orange refractor, and we picked it up in a combo deal with Massey, Massey Racks hooked it up, Gem, ten, gem uh, across the board 9.5s with the Gavin Lux, so we picked up that deal, Heritage, Tatis, that's a hard card to grade, Team Color, Luciano. I think that's a soto I meant to show you guys. Mother's and Father's Day out of 50, Tatis. All I gotta say is thanks to Kyle. Uh, my son's 19, allowed us to be in here the last three events, and it's nice to see him kind of come up, learn the, learn the value of money, learn how to negotiate, learn how to communicate. And as a father, we're supporting that. My wife's here with us, so appreciate everything that Mark does for us as well, guys. Yeah, we'll be at the grand opening. We'll be setting up. Like my son said, we'll be there, and uh, there'll be other, a lot of other high-end collectors, so we'll probably get up there and get a hotel room and hang out up there. So, But I appreciate everything you guys do. Keep it going, Mikey. I'm busy, man. I know. I think I might make it down next. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please, please. Make it down. Can we get you a little table? You can set up your cards and stuff. There you go. You need so much tea. April 17th. It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. And, uh, are you better, man? Throughout the years, as a way of collecting, this has been the craziest thing I've ever seen. In my yeah, life. I've never seen it like this before. ever, and I've been greatest since like '05, like with Beckett, you know, like doing all kinds of stuff. So this has been nuts. What's going on, guys? Prospects 151 here, just chilling with Marks. Been grading with him since May. Uh, if you guys need anything done for PSA? No place, nowhere else place to go, man. Go to Marks Gardens. Take it easy. <laughs> Maybe a couple of pulls he has the last couple weeks. Man, uh, I think, uh, what, was it February 22nd? February 22nd, uh, we pulled uh, a Zion rookie ticket, gold vinyl, one of one. It was on a Tuesday, 2 a.m., and then the following week, it was so weird. Same day, Tuesday, 2 a.m., we pulled a one of one John Morant RPA out of uh, Eminence. It was, it was just amazing. Uh, get hyped. I uh, mean, it's, you should see our reactions, like, it's, it's, it's unreal. And a, a week later, it still feels like a dream. Even right now, like I can't believe we pulled something like that. My favorite part of Rip, probably Fall is Eminence, NBA, uh, Panini one and one uh, we, we like to rip everything though. Like uh, even hobby boxes. Uh, Optic Hobby was really fun to rip for, NF for NFL. Really fun. I think it's going to keep growing, man. 2020 was pretty big 2021 i think it's gonna still grow a lot of my friends a lot of my local friends uh, a lot of my mutual friends they're all getting into the hobby now uh, some of these guys didn't really had any interest in it last year or even the beginning of this year but ever since we started our page all our friends are getting into it we're introducing a new hobby to friends that are uh, sports enthusiastic but now they're into the card games. We're just trying to like spread out the, uh, the hobby all around. What's up, Mike? A lot of respect, man. You oh, guys are man. doing good there, bro. Thank you. A lot of good energy. I like popping in. I appreciate it. We try to keep that. Yeah, especially like I don't know your guys' faces, and like we don't see faces, and I tend to go around, and you can always feel like good energy, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's awesome what you guys are doing now. Where are you 
San Gabriel Valley. Oh, are you? Oh, sure. We're just down the valley. Oh, you guys are all a group? Do you, do you all do it together? Yeah, we just saw you both. I was in the valley. Friends? Cousins? Uh, very close friends. So it's uh, snacky, juicy, and, and cheap. Well, let's do something. I want to let I sponsor some supplies. Yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to talk to you. Uh, you, were, you were a little busy over there. Yeah. You lost it and all that. Oh, shoot. I didn't know. But yeah, no, no. I want to I yeah. help. Like, I want to sponsor some supplies and stuff like that. Yeah. Card stands. Uh, you know, stickers and stuff like that for the customers. By the way, thank you for that slap stand. I'm going to try and rule out nice and loud your Instagram. Royal Rich Cards. Just the other day, it's been, it was a, a super cool card. I love the super frackers, bro. That's so fire. Nasty, huh? That's so fire. Nasty. Nasty. And then you we just did tripled that. that value. No, we just did the. Uh, we did and sent it to uh, a golden. The nine immaculate 101. Golden auction. Two hundred forty plus thousand dollars. Yeah. Let us know. We walk in. We drop them off. Um, we have a super tight account with PSA. Nice, bro. And we rack them up. We have a facility there back home. A shop in Camarillo. Uh, my, my little bro, my dad, my dad helps. Uh, shoot, my little brother, C Money. It's all fam. Like I said, we care about the, the your, your stuff and we'll take care of you, bro. I appreciate you. And brother. all these guys, bro, we do all their cars. Look at all these big guys around us. All their cars. Yeah. Bro. Hey, you got a new customer, brother. I appreciate you, man. Let's eat. Yeah. Let's eat, bro. Let's yeah. all eat together, Let's do it. bro. Have a good one, man. We'll talk soon. Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Nathan from uh, Bernal Bros Cards. Uh, we like. LeBron, Luca, high end. Uh, we flip, high end, uh, and all in between. Now, how was the experience? You know, talking Good, man. We just came up, made a deal, paid me cash for a card. Uh, might work, work, work a deal in the future on another card. Uh, I may start subbing with him, so, you know, cool guy, easy to work with. I'm uh, Bobby from Sports Card Investments on Instagram. Uh, just got a nice sub back, got some nice gems, got a Luca hollow. Got a red prism, quarter, got a blue fast braid, got some other stuff down here too. A trout tan that just came back from grading. Uh, you know, Mark's, Mark's just killing it. Mark's just killing it out here, you know? Gotta get some more in. A lot of like interesting, you know, rare high end basketball stuff, you know? Check me out. I got, you know, got a ton of, ton of interesting stuff that you don't see very often, you know? These rare Dirk rookies, some LeBron, Carmelo, autos. You know, stuff you don't see every day, you know? So come check me out. Like, uh, how long have you been in the hobby? I mean, like, for example, I pulled this one, this Jordan, I mean, this uh, LeBron Carmelo. I pulled this back in 2004, you know? Still have it. So, you know, been collecting for a while, been collecting for years. Uh, you know, got back in heavy, got back in heavy lately, but, uh, you know, probably the last four years or so. So, you know, loving it, loving it. All right, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. What's the biggest thing you gained out of the hobby so far? I mean, talking to everyone here is almost, I can come here with no money, no cards, and I can have a great time, just just as great a time, you know, as, as if I was buying stuff, you know, talking to everybody, you know, seeing everyone, you know, it's like a great community, so. How did you hear about Mark's card and your relationship? So I was, me and Mark's were talking for, for years on, on Instagram online before he started, kind of started doing the grading stuff, so, you know, once he started doing that, I was like, oh, I gotta, gotta support, you know, and he's doing, doing great stuff, so, so I'll definitely try him out. Your experience with something with them? Oh, I mean, it's phenomenal. You know, like PSA is cracking down, but you know, 10, 10, 10, like great, great, great uh, transparency, you know, uh, updated spreadsheets, like live, you know, you could see how your sub is doing at any point in time. Um, quick turnaround, super quick turnaround if you want to come to a show, pick up in person, you know, get complete flexibility, um, uh, you know, 100%. Yeah. One more time, real nice and loud on your Instagram. Yeah, cool. Sports Card Investments on uh, on Instagram. Sports underscore card underscore investments. I'm here at the uh, Allen, Texas Card Show. Uh, it's uh, quite an event. Uh, this type of event, the energy that we have here reminds me of a national convention. Um, what we're experiencing right now is tremendous growth in the hobby, uh, a renaissance, if you will. Uh, we have uh, international money coming in. We have a youthful uh, audience. We have uh, institutional money. Uh, the things that are going on right now are really unrivaled uh, to anything we've seen in the past and I think we're poised for more growth. I'm very excited about the future of the hobby. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, I am Andy Maddock. I've been in the hobby a long time. Some of you may know me, some of you may not. 
A-N-D-Y-M-A-D-E-C, or go to andybuyscards.com. That's andybuyscards.com. You know, I, started, I started this in my closet, Andy, and yeah, well, you know, like for me it was more, you know, I lost my brother four years ago. His name was Mark. So that's kind of, his nickname was Truth Marks. You know, it's actually been amazing. We've gotten some amazing, you know, uh, cards within the industry in the last few months. So it's kind of, it's more impactful. And you see the, the growth that's done on my parents and just, again, after losing my brother, it was a big, it was, it was a loss. So what this has brought over the last few years, and we just kind of like naturally just said, let's just let it grow it. And, you know, my brother, he teaches fourth grade and my sister. So we're all, we all do it together. And. Um, enjoyed it so I guess allowing it to get as big as it's gotten and it's over 20 plus thousand a month I mean it's, it's a beautiful thing it's, it's rocking I was at the first national uh, in Los Angeles at the LAX Marriott when I was 11 set wow. up uh, I used to be the PSA grader in 1998 um, so I kind of I was at the beginning I'm one of the original PSA authorized yeah. dealers yeah 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 I mean I remember I'm selling not. Jordan rookies in tens PSA 10s for $2,500 and thinking we got all the money. Ah. And I, I'm watching them trade nowadays for six to yeah, 700000 and yeah. we may not be done. Uh, it's nice to see that we have uh, celebrities uh, such as Drake tweeting, uh, athletes like Jerry Rice, Kevin Durant, uh, Deshaun Watson that are getting involved. Uh, it's a really exciting time. Yeah. Uh, PSA has done good. I'm, I'm thankful to join your club. So, it's good to meet you. Bob. Yeah, I'm super thankful. I don't take it for granted any, any, by any means. It's a beautiful, you know Do it the right way and like I say, transparent and, you know, do it, getting the job done. You know. Yeah, you got it. Thank you. Well, I mean, just take a look at it. I mean, your opinion seems kind of that big or small. Yeah, you have, yeah, the blue staff. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, it, it's out of a hundred. Oh, sure you know. oh, yeah, there's a uh, hundred and then there's fifty. Yeah, there's like I think row. It, it gets a little confusing. I know it's one of the most confusing sets. Oh, look at that. On the floor? It's a beautiful card. Like an ice yeah. cream shop. It's the kind of flavors you got. Yeah. Oh. What do you want a blonde, yeah. brunette? How much he's worth? What the fuck? How much he's worth? This is Price. No way! 75 bucks, bro? Where the hell did this and come from? And that's a steal. I mean, I guess. No, I'm just trying to shop this around right now. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I may have shoot. to get something for you. Oh, shoot. Look at it. What, what do you have? Like, shopping. Did you go? Shopping. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, so it's funny how we Not his mom's motto. Okay. Like. Yo, you can't <laughs> say that and ruin Ooh. the market for the other people. Uh, I'm ruining the market. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about... Slap out then. I'm just questioning because I want to maybe just slap this one thing. I can. Right now, the raw cards are going for 2K for raw. Yeah. You just, well, wanna, you just want to authenticate it? Yeah. Why don't you want to grade it? Why not? I don't know if it's going to grade well. They're leaning on these, I know that, because of the kind of cards they are. You got to remember, these came out of a magazine. Right. Yeah. 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 I think, you know what? I think somebody cut this though, so I think authentication is probably the way to go. Yeah, you see it's not straight, right? I told see? you, I was like, get the authentic slab. See? I'm gonna try to help you out. Yeah, that was my class. Yeah, let's do that. I'll tell you what, it's still clean. Nobody cut the edge, and look how clean that is. I'm a little apprehensive. Yeah. So you can just slab it authentic, right? They should. I mean, it's authentic card, yeah. Again. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12
Jordan. Yeah, I mean, they're literally, just literally right here. Yeah. 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 Peter, 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 Peter. That's when I first started got, got into grading. All these new young kids going up. Zion, Prism, Base, actually. If I could get a tattoo, it's against my religion. I will get a Zion, Base, Prism, PSA 10. One of the first cards I ever graded in my life. Water raw for $80. I think I spent what, $20 in some submission. Got it back, I was in it for $100. Posted it on eBay on an auction. I swear to God, I still have proof. Sold it for $900, mind you. I couldn't even believe it. It was a zero feedback bidder. You know me, I'm a research guy. So I went online. Who was the buyer? Who is this associated with? Gary Vee. He works for Vaynerchuk. I have all the proof. I'm a guy with proof. And then I'm like, oh shit, he paid? Even though it was zero feedback. I'm in New York. He lived in Manhattan. I had to Google that dress. High end. It was like a nice rich neighborhood. All right, it's not a scammer. You know what I mean? It was paid. Sold, got the money, and I was like, Transfer to my bank and PayPal all that, and I'm like, oh wow, eighty dollars, twenty dollars grading, hundred dollars. Yeah. Sold the same card. It took me like that time grading, not bulk, but standard or whatever. It took around two months or whatever. So I took eight hundred dollars and I sold it for nine. I'm like, okay, that's when Marks has all my business, and that's the grading thing is a thing now. So that's my little backstory on grading and. You know, all that stuff. But I was never a grader, flipper, all that. More of a collector, to be honest. Good story. I do know him. My dad even knows who you are. He processes all your cards. You get your photos? Do you get your photos? They haven't gotten that far yet. No, but no, have you got your photos like when we processed? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah came from my dad. Oh, gotcha. That's my little nephew right there, my mom. Yeah, my mom's here to take it. It's right there. There's Mama Marks. Oh yeah, that's my brother Mark. He passed away uh, June 9th of 17. Yeah. Wait, uh, June 9th of what? 2017 he passed away. So th that's what his nickname I told you, Truth Mark. Yeah, he was yeah, he was a no, my brother was a drawer. Yeah. <laughs> won't do it. No, it won't. It won't. That, that won't come out for sure. I, maybe this side, but not this. Yeah, that's deep for her. It's almost like a streak. It's just a streak, like something got on it, and, and then it streaked off. It's not refractor lines, right? No. It's like aftermarket. Yeah, yeah, because it's not completely straight. Yeah, it's it's kind of wobbly. Exactly. Yeah, it's deep. Let me see. Put it back on. Let me turn it around. It's nice. It's nice. The best case, honestly, like if you if they didn't get that where it's deep. But see, I don't know if you even got some more back here. See those little those little nicks right there. Take it off. Let me see. You take beautiful card. You got marks right in here too. Yeah, so right in there. Yeah, that's all that. That's not part of the card. Five. Is that best? Or worst? I mean, you're like a five to a seven, man. Honestly. Five and eight. Probably not. It's just because it's deep. It's deep. What does it mean to you? It's deep. Six average, five worst. Yeah. Raw. Like I, my PC is 80% raw to be honest. With you. Because I know if I grade it, I sell it. However, eventually I'm gonna get into just authenticating it, and just so I can have it in a PSA sleeve, so it's safe. You know what I mean? It's something you're gonna keep. Just because of that thing, it's gonna be like bending and then there it goes. You know what I mean? Just little things like that. Yeah. And this is the card I've really been wanting. Um, I got one of those Kobe packs. Pot two. No. I think it's out of 20. 19 to 20. So, excited. I got a bunch to drop off here soon. I just gotta go clean them. Love it. I love Mark. He's just the GOAT. Only person I'll grade with for the rest of my life. That's how we do it.
I'm happy. Uh, sport underscore cards underscore mania. So sport cards mania, but then the under everything, man. Baseball, football, basketball. But I, I prefer basketball, but. Where there's money to be made, there's money to be made. We'll sit you guys up so, at like four. I'm only gonna do like 30 tables. Okay. Not just say only, but just like 15 and 15. Is outside. it gonna be outside, outside. too or what? Yeah. yeah. Outside? I'm excited. I already got my hotel, everything. Are you saying that? Uh, yeah, I already got it. I'm already, I know. You just walk over the bridge, it's all downtown Ventura, bro, and they have all the restaurants and everything. It's a lively little. Taking over, bro. Taking over. That was that was. Yeah, I'm gonna toss that for you. This I know, man. Check this out. Ninja, my friend. 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 Ninja, my it was over a four hundred thousand dollar deal. I sold my Joe Burrow downtown card and sold it for six fifty cash. For cards, absolutely, it's the best thing in the world. Really. Tonight we're running it up to the max. Every day you get the opportunity to be the best. Get the cards you need to get. Make some money. Buy low, sell high. It's one a.m. and the lobby's packed. There's just excitement. There's a lot of energy. 